Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can correct your subtitle timing inside of VLC Media Player. So, subtitles, obviously you want them to be synced up to the video, and the quickest way to modify the timing, either to increase the delay on the subtitles or to reduce it, is to hit the hotkeys G and H on the keyboard. So if you hit G a bunch of times, it's going to subtract from the subtitle delay, making it come earlier than it would have otherwise come. And if you use the H key, that's going to increase the subtitle delay 50 milliseconds at a time. The exact opposite effect is actually going to be adding a delay to the subtitles, making it come later than it was in the original creation of the subtitles. Now, if you're having trouble finding subtitles for something that you're watching, then you can actually go up to the View menu, and there is a tab here called Download Subtitles. If you click Research here, then with whatever you're watching here, you can hit Search by Hash, which, if it can go online and search whatever service VLC uses for this, it will give you a list of subtitles that actually match the exact release of your video. So, Search by Hash, it should actually match uh, with the timing and the length and the... Uh, resolution of your video. If that doesn't work though, you can choose search by name, which will simply use the name of your video. And using one of those two methods, you can actually get subtitles straight within VLC. But yeah, if that doesn't work out for you, just remember G and H as the subtitle keys. In order to decrease or to increase the delay on whatever subtitles you have loaded into VLC. And uh, one last thing, if you do want find control over the subtitle delay. You can go to Tools, Preferences, and then we want to hit uh, All Settings in the bottom left, and search Sub T, which will give you demuxers, subtitles, and you can set a precise subtitle delay, and this is in tenths of a second, so 10 is actually one second, and negative 5 is minus 50 milliseconds, but you could go minus 1 for minus 10 milliseconds into your video. Uh, but usually, I'll just leave that as default there and hit G and H if I need to change the delay. So, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.